we get a call out for a king cobra sitting on a nest. Kings are the only known snake to build a nest. If it wasn't for Bali Reptile Rescue, the snake will be killed or in a market. So they remove the snake from the farmland and release them into a sanctuary zone where the locals have been educated on how to safely coexist with the snakes. It's a long hike downhill. As if the snake wasn't enough to worry about, it's built its nest on the edge of a cliff, so we have to be very careful we don't fall 30 metres into the rapids below. It's hard to spot, but the snake's way down there, and there's a cliff face on the other side. Steve, Carl? Yeah. Can you see it? Probably bring your head a bit more towards me. That's right on the ground. Like, there it is. Oh, yeah, I see it. Jeez, how'd you spot that? Seeing how slow, uh, how steep it is, this is a one-shot thing, so Eddie's going to be catching the snake. This was one of the most difficult rescues Eddie had ever done. And the hill was about 70 degrees, so hard to walk on with the wet mud and leaves. King Cobras are so large, it's easier to catch with two people. So Peter helps Eddie out. Got it. Got it. Hold on. Got it. Catching King Cobras is not the easiest in this terrain. <laughs> okay. So, this is a nest that a uh, female King Cobra was sitting on. So there might be two kings in here, so we open it very slowly. Ah, eggs. You see? Yes. It was on record that the King Cobra had been extinct in Bali since the 1950s. Although Eddie had been catching King Cobras his whole life, the population wasn't recognised until recent years by Bali Reptile Rescue. The eggs are very soft. Yep. More? More. There's so many in here, Carl. We are finding that the Bali King Cobras lay more eggs than uh, anywhere else in the world. I think that might be all of them. How many? 34. 34? Yep. Wow. Yeah. So this egg okay. here is broken. Oh, it's already split, so we're going to open it up, see what age. King Cobra. This uh, baby King Cobra, this embryo, is two months old, about. Got another three to go. Uh, we need to know how old they are uh, for incubation and research. Very long embryo. So we're putting the more moist leaves uh, from right next to the eggs o over the top to keep the humidity right. Awesome. <laughs> no one said catching King Cobras was easy work. Now we've got to try to get the eggs up the hill. It may not look it, but this hill is one of the steepest I've ever climbed. What about the TV bomb? I know, I know. What on, so that's the TV, so that's it. Okay. Oh. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Only 200 meters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a small cheer for a successful mission. Hey. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <laughs> the team will risk everything just to save the snake 
And here, Steve's helping the snake shed its skin. That's our uh, venom, that yellow, yellow, the yellow liquid coming out of its mouth. These guys have heaps of it. Hmm. Stevens had experience before and was one of the first few people to go out with Barley Reptile Rescue to catch a king. So, this is the King Cobra, the largest venomous snake in the world. And we've just rescued it off a nest in Bali. Now the King Cobra, it likes to eat other snakes, particularly the rat snake. And in fact, it almost feeds exclusively on snakes. In Bali, uh, the King Cobras, the really large King Cobras, actually eat water monitors as well, which is a pretty big food source. This one's are uh, uh, half the size they can get to. And it's a female, we found her on a nest. <laughs> These snakes don't just hiss, they roar. It's quite loud. This one's about two and a half, three meters. It's totally focused on Eddie just over there. And uh, cobras have uh, king cobras have very good eyesight for a snake. Makes it in some ways very easy to work with them because they can just focus on something and while it's focused on Eddie, Peter's got the tail here. So it's not turning around and trying to bite Peter who's actually got it by the tail. The focus is so good yep. you can reach around and I don't recommend you do this with many other snakes and touch the back of the head. Like that. Yeah. 